What's up, Beach Bums? I think my most requested video and the question that I get asked the most is what gear I use. So today's the day. We're going to talk about all the gear that I have, what I use it for, maybe some of the stuff that I talk about will help you out when you're picking what you want. I do have links in the description of most of the equipment that we're talking about today. I do also have links to a surf fishing starter kit so if you're just getting into surf fishing the things that i recommend that you need just to get started so let's talk about some gear so the way that i'm going to do this i'm going to start with my smallest tackle and work our way up and I'm going to tell you about each reel and each rod the line that I put on it and what I use each one for first one I've got is the pin pursuit 2 3000 size reel I have two of these I'm going to show you the other one both of them are on the Daiwa let's get that turned around Daiwa Laguna 6 foot 6 rod this is technically a bass fishing rod but I have these both and I'll go ahead and show you this one. I've got both of them. They're both the same thing. It's the same reel. The only thing different is the line color. They're both 20 pound braid, but this one's just got blue and this one just has red. I use these two for throwing lures on the beach and I mainly use these if I'm fishing close. So if I know that I'm gonna be fishing that first cut and usually for flounder, something that I know is gonna be really close to the beach where the, where the waves are, are riding just right off of the beach you know right behind that little dip you know right where the waves are breaking on shore typically that's what i'm going to be using these for if i have a carolina rig that i'm using for whiting or a gulp jig or any kind of jig that i'm throwing for flounder something close where i'm not having to cast very far typically i'm going to be using one of these two again they're identical but that's primarily what i use these for next up i've got a 4000 size pin battle 2 I love this reel. I've used this thing in a ton of videos. You've seen me catch a ton of fish on this reel. I love it. It's great. It's got 20 pound, actually, sorry, this one actually has 30 pound braid. I just went up a little bit on this one. This is the only one that I have that has 30. Everything else has 20 on it. But I really like this reel and this rod combo. This is actually the Pin Fierce rod. It's a seven foot rod. And I use this for throwing lures in the surf as well, but when I want to cast further. So if I'm throwing a spoon or a topwater plug or something and I want to get further out and make sure that I'm covering as much water as possible, or if I'm trying to catch, you know, bluefish or trout or redfish, maybe on the back side of the bar, I'm typically going to use this. This one I don't use nearly as much. I used to use it a lot more, but I've got more gear, so I've kind of left this one at home more often. It's a 6,000 size Pin Pursuit 2, and I've got, actually, this one I do have pretty heavy braid on it. I think it's 65 pound braid, and it's just the combo. It's the Pin Pursuit 2 8 foot rod, and I'll still use this occasionally when I'm pompano fishing if I'm running more than three or four rods. If I want to run like five rods, I'll use this one. I got it initially because I was using it for surf casting for sharks and trying to catch like small black tips and things like that that are you know within casting distance of the beach but i don't really do that very often so i don't really use this one that much anymore occasionally you'll see it in a video uh, but i usually leave this one at home it's not rigged up i haven't used it probably in a few months from this point forward i'm talking about all my pompano setups i have four rods that i use primarily for pompano or really all for pompano fishing but I'll usually have these with me every time I go. <laughs> I'm usually targeting Pompano unless I'm just throwing lures on the beach. So uh, that's all we're going to talk about these next four. But first one up, this is a 4,000 size Pin Fierce. And this is the first generation Pin Fierce. And if you notice, the bail on this is actually different. That's not the one that comes with it. I replaced it because I had a, another Pin Pursuit. 4000 that I took the bell off of because that that reel messed up on me a few years ago And I took it off and put it on here because this these come with a thinner bail That's just not quite as sturdy. So you may have noticed I don't know But that's not the actual bail that comes with it But I really do like the thicker bail that that pin starts that has started putting on most of their reels But I've got 20 pound braid on here just like most everything else 
and this is on the pin this was from a combo but this is the pin battle rod it's a nine foot rod and i love this rod i can cast this really far like further than most uh, i have a couple other nine foot rods and i can cast this one further because the action on it is actually pretty good i don't know what they rate it for but it's uh, moderate fast action is what this one's called but uh, it's rated for one to three ounce lures but i'll put heavier lures on here it seems to be fine I haven't snapped <laughs> the rod as of yet with it uh, so we'll see but love this rod it's a great rod I, you know i haven't seen too many of these in a lot of tackle shops but if you are looking for a good combo setup the pin battle with the battle two nine foot rod is is awesome for starting out surf fishing next up i've got two identical setups again i've got two okuma longitude nine foot rods let me see if i can get that to where you can see it and this is the same same exact thing on this one the akuma longitude and on both of these i've got 5,000 size pin battle twos both of them have 20 pound braid on them what i like about the 5,000 size reel opposed to a 3,000 or 4,000 especially for pompano fishing is the the heavier handle uh, you've got more torque on this you can really crank in the heavier weights like if you've got a three or four or five ounce lead that you're just reeling in in the surf this makes it really easy to, to bring that in because the smaller handles sometimes it's a little harder it is lighter it's easier to cast when you've got that smaller reel on it so that is nice but i do like being able to crank in the heavier lures and especially like a pompano when you're when you're bringing it in and it's getting sideways in the surf and all that you can really crank on it pretty good with this so it, it makes it easier if you get in hooked into a big fish it's nice it makes it easy to reel in last up is currently my favorite setup I've got the Pin Fierce 2 with, again, 20 pound braid on a 10 foot H2O Express rod. And this is just Academy brand H2O Express. I did a review on this on my Facebook Live some time ago. Uh, it's a $50 rod, so it's very inexpensive. But I can cast this thing perfect. It feels great. It's super lightweight. Uh, it's got a great uh, butt on it here so that you can get a lot of leverage for casting. I do, you know, I talked about the 5,000 size with the with the handle on it, making it easier to to reel in. This is the lighter setup with the 4,000, so it doesn't have that big handle on it, but the reel is obviously much lighter, so it makes it easy to cast. It makes it easy to, to just manage. So this this is my favorite setup for Pompano fishing right now. I, I love this. I have this with me every time I go. I highly recommend it. I would put a link to this rod below, but I can't. There's no way you can buy it other than at Academy. So you either have to go to academy.com or go to Academy to the store itself and, and purchase it because it's not sold anywhere else. That's pretty much all my gear. I have one other rod that I didn't show you. It's just a pin Senator 4 aught that I use very rarely. Sometimes if I'm kayaking out shark baits, which I only do that a couple of times a year. You might see some of those videos this summer at some point. I have a buddy that comes down and we do that together. Mitchell, you've seen him in a couple of videos. But all of my gear is very inexpensive. I don't spend a lot of money on gear. So I have very affordable rods, very affordable reels. All this stuff works great. I'm I'm cost effective. I'm not, you know, I don't get out there and buy the most expensive gear. I can't afford it. I'm married, I have a kid, and you know, surf fishing is is an every man sport. You know, we're not the richest people. You know, obviously if I was, I'd have probably a super awesome boat and I'd be 50 miles offshore tuna fishing but you know I don't so <laughs> I try to spend as little money as possible on these setups and I've acquired them over time but if you're looking to get into surf fishing these are some awesome setups that that are affordable uh, I wouldn't recommend really getting anything cheaper than this stuff just because it's not gonna hold up very well this is kind of the the entry level you know the pin pursuit like if you're just starting out a pin pursuit combo is perfect that's what i recommend or pin fierce i have a link to the pin fierce combo below you can check it out either one of those are going to work great and they're very affordable and they hold up well in salt water they're not going to corrode very easily just make sure you spray your stuff off if you are getting into salt water fishing if you've never done it before make sure you spray everything off because that salt water will corrode your stuff it'll lock up your reel pretty quick Guys, you've asked for it. I hope this helps. Now you know everything that I use. I know you've seen a lot of this in a lot of my videos, but now I've explained 
what it is and what I use it for. This will obviously change. I'm sure hopefully I'll be able to acquire more stuff as time goes on and I'll have more cool gear. But that's all I've got right now. Hopefully that helps you out. And as always, stay bummy.